We've got something new today. From QBO Tactical. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today's video topic revolves heavily around the Vertex bag line. If you've not seen the video that I've done on these bags and this one specifically, the commuter sling, I will leave a link for it right up here in the corner. For a brief overview, the basic design of this bag is specifically made for off-body concealed carry. It of course is a sling design, it has a nice big grab handle on the side here, so if I want to swing this thing around to my front and get access to whatever is in the bag, it's a nice swift motion and then right here I have access to a firearm. Now in the past, I was using this bag with their Tactigami, which is basically like some rolled up Velcro that is kind of situated, and it's nice because it can fit a bunch of different guns. However, it never really gave me the same confidence as a Kydex holster does. So luckily, QVO Tactical just came out with this. This is the QVO Velcro holster attachment. It's a fairly simple design. It's just a four x four piece of Kydex with some industrial strength Velcro on it. If you pick one of these up on their sites, it will ship with the Kydex and the Velcro attach as well as a mounting hardware kit. What's nice about this design is that it allows you to mount up your QVO secondary holster and keep it nice, firmly in place in your Vertex bag. If you watched my previous video on this bag, basically what I did was I took my secondary holster and then kind of rigged up something with another piece of Velcro and stuck it inside the bag, but it is definitely not as solid as this is. I'll take this bag off just so you guys can get a little bit of an idea. You have the full commuter sling here with a couple extra holsters in the front and some other gear. I can hold onto this by just the holster and as you can see, that thing is not going anywhere. So if you have this thing on your back and you're going about your day, you could basically be jumping over walls and running everywhere you go and there is no chance that this thing is gonna be moving off of here. Now I know not everyone is running a QVO secondary holster like this, so there are actually other options for you guys out there. Maybe you're using a G-code with an RTI wheel like this. You simply mount up your wheel to the back, stick it right in place. Or maybe you're a Safariland guy and you're running one of their QLS systems. You simply mount your holster right up to the plate, and stick that in place. Now if you're really getting into some extreme duty carry and you have a Glock 34 like this with a Surefire X300, maybe instead of running a secondary holster like this, you want something even more extreme and duty driven, like this ALS system. You simply slide this into place where you have the mount already installed in your bag and the gun will fit in here and if I position this correctly, this will still actually close up. Yes, it is a little tight, but hey, if you wanna run a holster like this, that's also an option. Now, instead of just running this in a regular holster, I am running it in a level two retention holster. So you do have a bunch of different options here, some quick swappable mounts if that's what you're into, but I think if I were to run this setup, which I will be doing very soon, I'm going to take one of my trusty old QVO secondary holsters and keep this in place at all times. So if you guys are already running one of these Vertex bags or a secondary QVO holster, this is definitely a great addition to your EDC. You can pick up these Velcro adapters on their website right now for just $12, or if you want to run something like a secondary holster, you can place an order for that and then they will ship at the same time. I of course do have a discount code for any holsters, so if you're not running one of these yet and you wanna check them out, I will leave a link for that in the description down below. And then it's probably a good idea at the same time to add one of these Velcro mounts to your order. If you guys wanna check out these Vertex bags, I also have a discount code for that, which I will leave a link for in the description down below. This is a pretty rad setup and I'm glad that it has finally come to life because lately I find myself carrying off body a lot more than I used to. Whether I'm riding a motorcycle or I'm sitting in my low car for a long time, having an appendix holster up front isn't the most comfortable thing ever. Drawing from a regular appendix holster in a normal fashion is pretty quick, but at the same time, that's pretty quick as well. So that's going to be all for today. If you guys have any questions on this new setup, feel free to leave me those questions in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week. That's gonna be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.